start with Heather Cataldo. Heather, the judge refused to remove Kilpatrick's attorney despite the conflict of interest about a possible witness that you were first to report on. That's right, Diana. Earlier today here at federal court, Kwame Kilpatrick very forcefully told the judge he just does not trust his lawyer anymore. He said they can't even have a conversation without it ending in a screaming match. And the reason Kilpatrick says he doesn't trust Jim Thomas is because Thomas once represented a witness who was supposed to testify in this case. Kwame Kilpatrick pleaded passionately today with Judge Nancy Edmonds to give him a new lawyer. The former mayor and attorney Jim Thomas have been together since 2008, and now the judge says they'll have to stay together. Is there really such a breakdown in the relationship as Mr. Kilpatrick described? I, I'm not in a position to criticize or, or, or refute what it is that he said. That's what he felt. He said it to the court. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to trial now. As 7 Action News first reported, the conflict between Thomas and Kilpatrick centered on a witness. Back in 2005, Thomas represented Gaspar Fiore, the owner of Boulevard and Trumbull Towing, who has several city contracts. Thomas told the court Fiore was the subject of an FBI inquiry. Thomas said he did not disclose the relationship with Fiore until January of 2011, when Kilpatrick signed a waiver. But Kilpatrick said he never understood the true nature of Thomas's representation until he saw how much Fiore's grand jury testimony allegedly implicated Kilpatrick, which federal prosecutors just recently turned over to the defense. It wasn't until we received the grand jury testimony a week ago Friday that it was pretty clear at that point that that was going on. According to the indictment, Kilpatrick and his co-defendant Bobby Ferguson allegedly extorted Fiore by getting more than $90,000 from him, including campaign funds funds and other cash. Kilpatrick told the judge his lawyer can't be aggressive enough cross-examining Fiore because he used to represent him. The former mayor said, when my mother cuts the Thanksgiving turkey, she doesn't open the drawer, close her eyes and pick out a knife. You have to have a turkey knife for a turkey. Federal prosecutors said when Kilpatrick could afford Jim Thomas back in 2008, he purchased his own turkey knife, and the court did Kilpatrick a favor by allowing him to keep Thomas as his court-appointed counsel when he was indicted. Now they say it's too late to cry foul. This is absolutely a legitimate issue, without question, and it's an issue that will stay with this case in the event there's a conviction. 7 Action News legal analyst Anthony Chambers says because federal prosecutors know more about who's involved in an investigation, they too had a duty to reveal this conflict of interest sooner than just weeks before trial. The government knew and the government could include the court and counsel in earlier. Uh, certainly by the time the superseding indictment, the fourth superseding indictment came, they knew they were going to use that person as a witness. Now, the government dropped the charges involving Gaspar Fiore so that the judge could rule that there was no conflict, so the case will go forward with Jim Thomas on the case. But Kilpatrick had some strong words about his attorney that he put in this affidavit that was filed with the court. I'll have more on that coming out tonight on Action News at 6. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.